I'm Steve Plater, this is James Hillier. We've just ridden the amazing military road on the Isle of Wight. Now, we're gonna complete the rest of the diamond race course. So James, after your first lap of the Diamond Race Course, what's your opinion? Uh, pretty, pretty good. It's um, as a you know a foundation to start from. It's uh, got a little bit of everything: the high-speed military road here, and then uh, some real nice combinations of, and combinations of corners uh, out through the, the farms and the, the narrower roads. But uh, a little bit of everything: some longer bends. Definitely going to be a challenge to learn, which is what we want, I think, as a road as for road racing. And uh, everyone's going to be in the same boat. I might have a little advantage, but um, yeah, it looks great. I'm pleased to hear you're sounding confident. Are we going to get you signed up for year one? Yes, I, I'm in. I'm in. I can't uh, say no to that that military road. Top job. Thank you, mate. Yeah, I'm Gary Thompson. I'm the clerk of the course for the Diamond Trophy races. So, Gary, tell us about this event and what Islanders can expect. Well, the, the concept is for the Diamond Trophy races to be held on a, a closed road, uh, a closed public road circuit. So, unlike uh, a short circuit like Bad Hatch or anything like that, you know, there's, no, there's no gravel traps, there's no permanent circuit. So, we basically have to turn a, a public road into a racing circuit for periods of road closure. The plan is for um, there to be two days, uh, two days practice and qualifying, uh, a day off in between and then one day's racing and um, for the local residents that means um, that we plan on closing the roads from uh, 9.15 till about 3.15 on the two practice days and it's likely to be a Wednesday and a Thursday so rest day on a Friday and then for the Saturday race day uh, to close the roads about 9.30 and over, open them up about, about 6 o'clock in the evening. Now that doesn't mean to say that the roads are going to be closed for the whole of that period because there will be times during the day which I've already built into the practice and race day schedule where we'll open sections of the course to alleviate the pressure around the rest of the island and allow you know, residents to get to and from there. To, to and from there. So houses. what can islanders expect to see? What are the big changes that, that will happen during that racing week? Um, well, about I imagine two or three weeks before the start of the event, um, there'll be we'll, we'll start building the course effectively. Uh, we've got to put um, safeguarding barriers. We've got to put plyboard against some some fences. So, and what I mean by plyboard is the right races when they're going at high speeds and they're they're, they're, they're tipping into corners. You know, uh, what we don't want them to do is snag their shoulders or the handlebars on on, on a jagged wall. So. In certain places, we'll put plyboard fences so that it gives a nice, smooth uh, surface as well as they go into a into pen. Um, what we've asked the, the uh, island, uh, we've got the Rose Agency, uh, fantastic people already, we've been doing a lot of work with them. We've asked them to treat the, the white lines in the, in the centre of the road, so there's uh, uh, two and a half thousand white lines to be, to be, to be treated. 177 manhole covers to, to be treated, so they've become and, and, you know, uh, uh, not slippery, and 177 cat's eyes to be removed. Now, I, I'm told they can be removed and then put back immediately after because they, you know, it's just heavy glue, it's resin that, that, that holds them in place. Um, so that's really it. There's, there'll be prohibited and restricted areas around the course. I've identified prohibited and restricted areas, which means in the areas most likely or where where it is potentially likely that a motorcycle could have the greatest impact. You know, we don't, obviously we don't want spectators uh, or people stood there, so we've identified areas to, to, to restrict that. Um, uh, but then but from, a, from an event point of view, you know, the military road is, is the spectacle of the, of the event. And to, to be able to, and the road service already around the whole course is, is, is excellent. It, it's raceable now, to be honest. But that um, that stretch of road, the military road, um, from Grange Road all the way along through to Chelbury, oh, it's a heaven. heaven. <laughs>